In today's Tutorial Tuesday, I'm going to show you how I made the simple macrame style project to hang a glass jar. This is a cute piece of decor that you can use to hold flowers or even root some ivy. I'll jump into the tutorial in just a second, but first be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Thanks! First, decide what container you want to use. I had a handful of glass jars to choose from and I opted for the jar that was already clean. If you need to clean your jar, carefully use a razor blade to remove the label. Then a little goo gone and some elbow grease will clean off the sticker residue. Lastly, wash the goo gone off and leave your jar in the sun to dry. You could also opt for a plastic container which has the advantage that it won't break if it gets dropped, but I personally love the look of glass jars. Once your container is ready, we need to gather some yarn, string, or rope for our macrame hanger. A variety of materials will work for this project, including cotton twine, jute string, and yarn. If you want more options, a quick Google search gives some suggestions for best materials for macrame. I'm using this cotton yarn from Hobby Lobby because I love the color and I already had it on hand. A quick note, I know from my experience crocheting with this particular yarn that it has a tendency to stretch a little bit. When I tie my knots, I will pay extra attention that I tie them securely and don't space them too far apart. But now that we have our materials, it's time to cut the yarn and start tying. My jar is about 6 inches tall, so I'm going to cut pieces 5 times that length, or 30 inches long. How much extra length you need depends on the size, the scale, and number of knots in your project, but for a jar this size and the amount of knots we're going to do, a multiplier of 5 should work great. And of course, it's always better to cut it too long than to cut it too short and run out. Altogether, I need 6 30 inch long pieces. I used a tape measure to size my first piece, and then I used that piece to measure the remaining five strands. Once the six strands are cut to length, line up the ends and tie all six strands into a knot an inch or two from the end. This is a basic overhand knot, and it's the only knot we need for this project. Now we are ready to tie the yarn around our container. I flipped my jar upside down and taped the tail to the base of the jar. Make sure that the knot is centered on the bottom of the jar, as this will help everything line up as we work down the sides. Next, take two strands that are side by side and tie an overhand knot. Position this knot to sit just in from the bottom edge of your container and then cinch it tight. Repeat this process with the remaining four strands until you end up with three knots. At this point, it's helpful to tape down the pairs of yarn and evenly space them along the edge. To start working down the side, pick two knots. Take the rightmost strand from the left knot and the leftmost strand from the right knot, bring them together evenly between the two knots, and then holding these two strands together as one, tie an overhand knot. Rotate the jar and repeat this process two more times. Do your best to position these three knots at an equal height on the jar. This will create our second ring of knots. At this point, we will keep repeating this process of tying rounds of three knots all the way down the length of the container. Each round, I will take the right strand from a left knot and the left strand from a right knot, hold them together as one strand, and tie an overhand knot. Try to keep the knots evenly spaced. After five rounds of knots, I flipped my jar over to see how it was turning out. I decided to tie one more round of knots. Once I was happy with how it turned out, I brought all six strands together as one and tied an overhand knot towards the ends of my strings. This can loop around a hook or whatever you decide to use to hang up your project. You can tie a single knot at the top, or tie a whole series of knots all the way up. Before you finish, don't forget to remove the tape and trim the ends of yarn to matching lengths. Now it's ready for decorating. I decided to root some ivy in my jar. I took two clippings from my mom's pothos ivy, filled my jar with water, and placed the clippings in the water in a sunny spot. A few tiny roots popped up after just a few days, and now two months later I have lots of roots and even new leaves. I still haven't decided where to permanently hang this jar, but I definitely want to make more. This DIY is great because there are so many ways to customize it. Simple changes, like different colors of yarn or swapping to jute or twine, will create a whole new look. You can also use more than six strands of yarn, just make sure that you use an even number so you can tie them off in pairs. Even something as simple as using a container with a different shape will give a fresh perspective on this project. Be sure to let me know in the comments if you're going to try this project. And of course, if you share pictures of this on Instagram, be sure to tag me at crafters underscore autonomous. But thanks so much for watching and happy crafting!